Hey guys, we have got ourselves a quick tint. Q-U-I-C, the K is optionally missing. The rooster is consistently crowing. Uh, T-E-N-T, so quick tent basically, play on words. And the model we got is a four-legged extra heavy duty carport. And correct? Yep. All right, and Shira and Lily are out here. This is how easy this is to build, okay? That they're allowing me to join them. Is that funny? They're allowing me to join them building this. Is that right, Lily? Yep. Yep, you see that? So. Yeah, the ones are the spanners. The ones. Uh, two are the rafters, and the three are the legs. So you got the one, which is the spanner. That's the, um, let's get over here in this booklet here. That's pretty decent, man. This is good instructions. So the ones are the spanners. That's right there. You see that? So on a, on a model like this being four legged, you should have eight legs. What does that be? Nine spanners. That is, that is those right there. And then you would have eight rafters and the rafters. She said are the twos. Is that right here? Yeah. The twos. I'll say the twos are the rafters and that's what Lily's working on right now. So Lily's putting all the twos together. They're going to be the rafters. Now, what you guys want to make sure you do is make sure you got all your parts. Okay. Um, so far, so good. Um, installed a couple of these, and this is the one we got for ourselves. You'll get all your parts in one box, and you'll get all your tubes in another box. So your parts and your your tarp. Now this tarp is about 30% thicker than a Harbor Freight one that's $125, $30 now, and this has four legs instead of it having three. Big freaking difference. And this company will sell you uh, like extra middle parts there. Those are B, so they go they go right here in the middle. So you have A, there's your ends, and if you order another set of B, so you'd get like, uh, what is that, three parts, a B, a D, which has got, the reason it's a D is it has this on for the cables. Now this has a tensioning cable system. Um, it'll handle a pretty good snow load. So you'll have that, and you see in the picture right there, you see that where they got that on there? That is the cable sets that are right there, and they have turnbuckles on them to where you can pull them uh, tight get good tension on them and be sure you uh, put them all on before you start tightening one of them okay and then it has all the feet and the feet use a standard pin to connect them and that will be over here in the tarp so now this is a pretty simple build it's really not complicated so we're going to put it together and we're going to show you some stages and then of course you see that in the picture pretty simple that shows four of them four little um, stick figures there and however there's only three of us we can do it don't worry about that so we're gonna lay all this out and we're gonna get it going so right now we've got two ladies out here handling this and we're gonna show you the whole thing laid out with all its parts here in just a second so you want to lay this whole thing out completely to where you have all your parts laid out like they would normally go in orientation on this build and you're going to start down there right now Kira's going to show you how they start to put these together and it's a click together style push it in yeah hold the button in bring it in like this and it will click and then she will put the other now you notice there's a little bit of slack in this design And now she's got that put together, and then Lily she's going to grab pipe. that. Lily holds up this pipe. This is where it helped to have two people, because now she's going to hold this pipe up, and Kira's going to lock that one in. So, and now they're going to repeat this process. So they're going to completely build this upper rack that has basically your rafter set. And then they're going to add the stretchers. This is a stretcher right here. And then they're going to add uh, our spanner. I guess in Harbor Freight, they're marking stretchers. I think they're marking spanners here. But then they're going to add the spanner here. And they're going to do the same thing going down one side and come over here on the other side because there's enough flexibility. And they're going to add these. Then what you end up with is you end up with just this top half of the frame. And that's when you unravel this. And that's what we'll be showing you here next. All right, and now we've reached the end of getting the frame fully assembled on the top half. And right now they're getting that last one together. 
usually the corner will fight you a little bit. All right, so what you have is you have the frame and let me get over here. It's completely put together as a upper half. Don't try to put your legs on yet, okay? And now what the two ladies will do is they're going to grab the tarp and unravel it. All right, so they're gonna take care of that. Now I'm going to show you something that is the trick Okay. One of the things about these carports is this. You see that? Now they put your tensioners on here, and that's what these cables are for, and they're going to show you all that, okay? But they put the tensioners on here to tighten it up. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't give it the good squareness that you need. So when you put this thing together, you're going to get you some loose quarter, self starter screws like this. That's all you need and get you a little impact of some kind or even if you don't have an impact you know like it's an impact there if you don't have one then just get you a uh, a pretty good little cordless drill or something and set the cordless drill where it's not all the way on the clutch so that you don't snap these off now you'll put you in a pair of screws but don't put them where the tarp goes so in this case i will put them at about just almost to the very bottom right there and the reason you don't put them at the bottom is because if you put them at the bottom, they tend to rust. But if you come up just a hair, they won't, okay? So you'll put in like two screws after, after your tarp is on, your tensioners are on and everything else, you'll put in a couple of screws, same way with the legs. And that also means that if there's any failure in any of these fasteners that they use in this, that you have that, even though it's small, as a backup. All right, the two ladies have the tarp ready and they're going to show you how they're going to drag it right over the top. And that's so simple. And these are these are pretty stout tarp. If I compare this to a Harbor Freight tarp, I'm gonna give it about probably 25% more strength. So not only are you getting, uh, it's $100 more, $130 more. Not only are you getting four legs, which is really freaking important. You can also take this frame when you five leg it and because of the distance, you can actually put metal on its roof. So now, don't worry, that's just dirt. I mean, dragging it out here in the sand. Um, so there's its little tarp, and it has all kinds of different little fasteners you'll see inside there. And the tarp, once you look at this, is formed. You see that? It's formed to fit. Now that is really cool, and it gives you numerous fastening methods, including these little hooks that will go into the tubes as needed. Okay? Now, um, one of the things that we'll have to do when we start the process is right after we get the tarp on, we have to slip those apart and slip these on because I do not want to put these on until that tarp is on it. And the reason for that is pretty simple. I want it standing up in the air. There's plenty of slack. I'll be able to slip them apart, slip these on, thread these through to the hooks that are right up here in the center right there, okay? And that way, we can get it tensioned without having to fight the tarp. That's the hard part. You don't want to fight this thing. And look out! Look how well they build this. This is a very, very nice tarp. So we're going to get this together. Don't forget the screws. Order you about a hundred pack at least. Uh, st those are stainless, and all you need is zinc. So these are zinc. You see that? That's all you need. going to do that's unusual is we're going to actually put pipes in the ground and let me show you this you see these right here these tubes are just about perfect when I said permanently mount this is about $15 a piece or 20 bucks a piece at Home Depot two of these that are 10 footers 10 footers they're 10 foot two of these would do everything you need these are very heavy gauge they're very thick um, and here's the cool part here up the wrong end here um, Lily hold that pipe there um, she's gonna show you here where that snugly fits over you see that it fits over the top of that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut yourself some two foot long pieces of this 
and then you will put you three or four of those screws in it and leave them hanging out a little ways get you some one inchers and shoot them in and leave half inch and then when you concrete that in that the screws being in this will make sure it don't slip in the concrete or twist and then you can literally take about four of those screws and put them in when you mount the pipe ends just make sure you balance them all out but you can mount that permanently in concrete so that this is really really durable let's get the tarp on girls it's just oh by the way it's just a bunch of these little ties in here and they provide them by the handfuls along with rope and all these little parts see big bag of parts all right let's get into that okay and the girls have just now put the legs on one side so that we can get in here and we're going to use those ties that are uh, provided with it to go through here around the pipes so we're going to get all that on and get this thing ready for the cap up on it and then we'll lift the other side once we get it ready from this side lift the other side repeat the process all right so you guys might not think you're thinking like 139 dollars man i'm gonna get me one of them harbor freight ones don't trip I i'm gonna get me one of them i, I know the canvas will last seven months if i'm lucky and well hold on and it's just as strong <laughs> all right i want to show you dimensions here this is the harbor freight tube this is the quick tent tube okay thickness just a slight increase in the quick tip the quick tents tube size all right however look at the height that is a leg for a hundred and thirty dollar now they used to be 99 to 109 bucks but now they're 130 bucks that is the leg for a harbor freight one this is the leg for the quick tent the foot that comes with those are plastic however the feet that come with these not plastic big difference okay all right so they have this already up and i want you to be sure you look and you'll see that there's connectors and this is how they go on so you'll 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 squeeze that part thread it through loop it and put a knot in fact i'll run over here right quick where super kira and lily are working you squeeze it like this and then you poke it into your hole yep just get it in there and then you she's gonna open and then you have it you loop it like that and and then make sure it goes back kind of flush like that to the to the rim like she has it here so this part here will be and, and i want you to look how it's doubled and it's also heat seamed so very tough that's pretty good built you know pretty significant all right next we'll worry about these other ones and get them uh, loops on as we get this lifted up now what i've done is i went ahead and threaded one cable on and now I'm going to put the other cable on, just like this, and then I'll snap this back in, okay? And this makes life a little bit easier, and the tensioner is already on here, so you want to make sure that you have loosened that out, and you hook it right up here in the top, and it's going to give tension so that snow loads or buff buffeting winds and things will not cause this thing to come down all right so be sure you put these on tent carport yeah we have the carport up and you can see up here now i'm going to give a little critique the weakest thing that i find is their turnbuckle i would recommend that once you tighten that up that you take some bailing wire and you go between those two points right there so you'll take and put bailing wire from there to there once you tension this like you want it some kind of a strap and then you won't have to worry about that i had one of them crack on me it didn't break all the way through but it cracked but there you go right there so make sure that is done the second thing i've got to critique that i recommend you doing differently is the bolts no washers the bolts are almost the size to fall into the holes but otherwise they actually they'll stay and then what we're using out here slide that towards the wheel there daniel and we got daniel look Look, look guys, Daniel wasn't dead. That police report, wrong. Still here, still alive. 
You touch him. You could, look, he's real. Oh, sissy like him. So there's my foursome right out here, guys. All right, so oh, hold on. There's my four pack right out here, guys. And there's, there, there's, uh, uh, now you see why I work all these freaky hours. All right. All right, guys, y'all get y'all one of these. They're worth it. They're better than the Harbor Freight one. And look at what we, look what we done here. It's actually going to help this little thing here while we're working. And we put it up. So later, I had to use the excuse. I got this so my wife could have it, right? Actually, it's so that I can work out here this fall to finish that trailer. Where Lily's going to live in a box, right? Ha, ha, ha.